narration, I changed my lipstick to something a little less vibrant. I also changed my outfit from its usual flashy red to a more mature black. I know these changes won't make a huge difference, I just want to make sure she notices me. And of course, I can't forget the all-important meal. I'm just a dancer though, I've never had to cook anything before. So I'm unfortunately forced to rely on other people for that. Still, the head servant chef was nice enough to suggest I could at least try cutting some fruit. So I decided to try cutting an apple. Wow, this is so simple. First, you peel the skin, then you chop it into pieces, and voila, it's done. Salome. Well, what do you know? That was easy. Uh, but then the chef servant took one look at the apple inside. What's her problem? Can't she see how good it looks? Anyway, I loaded up my apple and tons of other food onto a plate and hurried off to the dungeon humming to myself. That was when I saw something shocking. The cell was packed full of other servants, all surrounding that frail looking girl. I saw red. Rage boiled through me with such intensity that I nearly dropped the plate. What do they think they're doing to her? Don't they know that's my precious... Master. And that's how Bartholomew ended up paying a heavy price for his obsession with hidden eyes. Archer class, what a sad yet inspiring story. Saber, I never would have guessed. And here I always thought pirates were nothing but perverts. Ryder, I've never met Bartholomew, but he sounds amazing. I wonder if he's around this singularity somewhere. Berserker, mmm, ooh ho, ooh ho ho. Lancer, hey Berserker. If you didn't get it, quit with the ditzy act. You're ruining the show. Berserker. What? You got a problem with gorillas? Or mussels? Huh? Caster. Can't you just talk like a normal person? Assassin. Quiet, everyone. Okay, I've got one. Tell us about a time when you thought you were a goner, either while alive or in death. The master goes first. Master. This is something that happened to me personally. Everyone, no way! Salome, hey, you there. What do you think you're doing? Are you bullying her? Ryder, huh? Isn't it obvious? We're just talking with her. Salome, why? Ryder, why? Well, you see. Oh, there she is. Wake, wake up. Master, good morning. Ryder, morning. So Lord Zongju was like... Try to get whatever information you can out of her, even if it isn't much. Uh, so I'm just here on his orders. Got anything you can talk about? Master, that's it? Writer, that's it? Master, well, I guess I can think of something. Writer, damn, seriously? Saber, you're kidding me. Archer, no way. How the hell are you even still alive? Caster, 
Oh, come on. If you have to exaggerate so much to tell it, it's not a very good story. What? You're not exaggerating? That all happened? Everyone. Whoa! A Knight of the Round Table? Whoa! Salome. I'm still not sure how this happened. Master. I guess I got kind of carried away. Salome. Well, at least you're not being mistreated, right? Then, I guess... It's okay? Ryder. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize we were getting in your way. Saber. But, I'm afraid we can't just up and leave. Berserker. Me like hang with you. Caster. Oh, come on. You weren't talking like that earlier. Pick a lane. Berserker. Okay. Salome. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Who are you people anyway? Rider. I'm a rider from Sicily. Berserker. I'm a berserker from Europe. Saber. That's way too broad. As for me, I'm... Archer. Me? I'm an archer from Greece. Adelante? Oh, no way am I in the same league as her. Artemis herself protects Atalante. Lancer. I'm a... I'm a Lancer. Who'd rather stay anonymous? Saber. Hmm, keeping your true name to yourself does make sense. I've been doing my best to not give away any hints. As for me, my true name is... Caster. I'm an alchemist. I think you guys might have a heard of me. Ryder. I wouldn't go down that road if I were you. It's a real blow when someone tells you that they have no idea who you are. Caster. Mm. I'm just your everyday alchemist. Assassin. I'm an assassin because of reasons. Salome. What are you still doing here? Can't you just leave already? Ryder. I'm sorry, but we are here under orders. Master, why don't we all eat together? Salome. Well, if that's what you want. I'm not happy about it, but okay. Master. I can't believe you guys have white rice here. Saber. A saber from Far East insisted we grow some. Salome. Really? Ryder. Oh yeah, said he'd commit seppuku if he had to go without white rice. Lord Zhangju kept saying he didn't see what the big deal was, but he grew some anyway. Archer. You know, I still don't know where he's growing it, or if he really is. For that matter, I mean, if he'd grown it normally, would it even have been ready so fast? Caster. Magecraft can't make something from nothing. But it can make something worthwhile from something worthless. Assassin. So you think he whipped this rice up with Magecraft then? Salome. Mm, hey. Aren't you gonna have your dessert? Master. Um, I'm still working on the meat. Salome. Never mind that now. There's always room for dessert. Here you go. A nice apple. Master. Okay, don't mind if I do. Salome. Great. How is it? Master. Really good. Salome. Right? Right? Radiating pride. Master. Yeah. 
It's a great apple. Salome. Hmm. Writer. Hey, Kaldan, I know this is sudden, but you get zero points. Master. But why? Assassin. All that aside, what happened to this apple? It's still got some peel in its core, and there isn't actually much edible fruit left over. Salome. Hmm. Master. Maybe, but I can tell whoever cut it really put their heart into it. Salome. <gasps> Archer. Is that how it works? Salome. I guess so. Narration. I don't get it. I don't understand. This is all unlike anything I've known. It was neither the dazzling radiance of a holy woman nor the glory of a fearsome warrior. It was just a calm, perfectly ordinary time, like basking in a ray of sunshine. I never felt like this during that banquet, but it somehow reminded me of it all the same. Gnan. I whispered the name under my breath. Caster. Mm. Saber. All right, I think we'd better get going. Rider. What's happening today again? Saber. We're going scouting in the reinstatement realm, and they're heading out to repair Forge of Innis. Rider. Roger that. Okay, Lady, Lady Salome, you take it from here, please. Salome. Oh, I think I have to go too. Kermel's really strict about work stuff. Master. Okay, see you later then. Salome. Hmm. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you. You have to tell me more stories once I get back. Seton. Meanwhile, Seton remained carefully out of sight so as not to interrupt his fellow prisoner's fun. Pretty considerate of me, right? Don't you think I deserve some praise? Master. I didn't realize you were staying quiet on purpose. Seton. Yeah, I was. Especially since I could tell Salome wasn't in a great mood. That aside, those seven servants. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. Hmm? What am I talking about? Eh, I better not tell you yet. I'd hate to disappoint you if it doesn't pan out. In the meantime, I'd suggest you work out a bit so you can be ready for anything. Master. Got it. Then I'll do some push-ups right now. Seton. That's it, you're doing awesome. Kodak. Yeah. Whoo. Holmes. Are you all right, Kodak? Kodak. More or less, but damn, this mountain's even steeper than I imagined. Da Vinci. Too bad, steep isn't all it is. <coughs> Mash. Look out! You have flying monsters heading toward you at high speed. Holmes. Then we'd best hurry. They need only knock us off, and that will most assuredly be the end for all of us. Kodak. Yeah, I know, but I can only go so damn fast. Holmes. There, I can see a crag. Not as stable footing as I'd like, but it's far better than a climb. I suspect they'll give up and leave us alone if we can reach the crag and stay there a while. Kodak, you better be right about this, detective. Kodak, get out of here! 
Gord off. Whoa, nice spell. Kadok. It was just a Magecraft Flash Bomb. I didn't actually attack it. Gordoff. Oh. Holmes. A wise decision. Few attacks are more effective against wild animals than blinding them. Now then, Kadok, I think you'd had better take a few steps back. Da Vinci. You are on it today, Holmes. I'm picking up a servant directly above you guys. Whoa, who the hell is this? They're not just fast, they keep blinking in and out, too. Gordoff. Are you sure it's not just some bug in the equipment? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Wow! <laughs> you monster birds of a feather are really are sticking together, huh? Gordoff. Huh? Was that supposed to be some kind of wordplay? mysterious person. But I can't have you taking these people and feeding them to your chicks. That's just evil. No, wait, I guess you're not really being evil if you're just acting on instinct, huh? Still, I can't let you do it. Sorry. After all, those people are from Bardira, or our special guests. Holmes. Hmm, it would seem we have nothing to worry about apart from him mispronouncing Caldea, that is mysterious person. Now get ready for my noble phantasm. La Black Luna! Caught it. Gah. He just hit us with it too. Holmes. I certainly wasn't expecting that. Kodak. Oh, well, and wild animals aren't exactly known for their fondness of loud noises. Makes sense they'd run off. Mysterious person. Whoo! That take cares of that. E Holmes. Hmm. Kodak. Hmm. Mysterious person. Eee. Kodak. I can't hear a word he's saying. And now he's way up in my personal space being all buddy buddy. And I still can't hear a damn words. Mysterious person. He Kodak. Stop! I can't hear you. Just stop. Da Vinci. Uh, excuse me. Mysterious person. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wow, the future is now. Da Vinci. Uh, yeah, sure is. Okay, Gordy, he's all yours. Gordoff. What? Hey, how did I get pulled into this? Da Vinci, because I was overcome by the terrible feeling that every word I said would go in one ear and out the other. Gordoff. Huh. What kind of excuse is that? <clears throat> uh, you there? Who are you? I'm guessing you're affiliated with Charles the Great of the Righteous Rail. I'm a stealth -ope. Gordoff. Too loud. Wait. A stealth -o? As in... Mash. Right. That's the same paladin from the Legend of Charlemagne who went to the moon and back. Stealth -o. Stealfo. Whoa, so does that mean I'm famous? <laughs> Gordoff. He's also well known for being uh, completely insane, as I recall. Astolfo. Woo! Flashing peace signs. Kodak. Yeah, there, I can finally hear again. Holmes. 
Hmm, let's stealth all the heroic spirits. Then when you released your true name earlier, I take it that was the same horn you used to chase off harpies? A stealth -o? Yep, it's super handy when you want to get rid of demonic beasts. I could cause some real chaos in an enemy army if I blew it as hard as I could. Anyway, uh, it's great. Holmes. I see. As for us, we are... A Stelfo. Wait, wait, don't tell me. You guys are with Caldura, right? Huh? Is that not right? What was it then? The moon? Holmes. <laughs> We're with Caldea. I'm Sherlock Holmes. And this young man assisting us is Kadok Olympus, a mage. Stelfo, nice to meet you. But I already did the whole greeting thing early, huh? You can hear me? Why not? Uh, all right, that, that was my fault, wasn't it? Kadok, damn right it was. Astolfo, whoops, sorry about that. Still, it beats being bird food, right? Especially since you guys couldn't have lasted more than three minutes where you were. So, yeah, my bad, but also not my bad. Hmm, can those things both be true at once? Kodok. You know what? Let's forget it. Not like I'm gonna have permanent hearing damage, right? Astolfo. Oh, definitely, probably not. Kodok. So it's fine. Sorry, was that a probably I heard in there? Astolfo. Anywho, thanks for coming, er, um, Caldeans. For reasons I still don't understand, our Righteous Realm has been waiting for you. I still have no idea what's going on, but please follow me. Kodak, you think we can trust him? Holmes, if I am correct, we should be perfectly fine. Apart from one or two small issues, at least. Astolfo. Oh, but I do gotta ask if you not to tell the other realms about ours, okay? There'll be tears if you do. Kodok. That's it? Who's? Astolfo. Rollins. Kodok. Ah, should have figured he'd be here, too. Stuffo, of course he is. This is Charles the Great's realm, you know? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You might see him bopping around in the buff every now and then, but don't worry too much. It's just his thing. Kodak, got it. Mm. Wait, in the buff? Like, naked? Why? Astolfo, huh? You mean you don't know? Isn't there a super famous legend about Roland, you know, let it all hang out? Kodak, yeah, there is. I know about it too. But why is he still getting naked now? Astolfo, oh yeah, that's a good point. It's not great in mixed company, can't argue there. Hmm, I guess we could cover him up with seaweed or do that whole pixelated blur thing. Mash. This sounds pretty bad. What do we do, Da Vinci? Da Vinci. I don't see a problem here. Naked heroes are beautiful things. Mash. Oh, right. I forgot about Da Vinci's artistic side. Self -hole. Well, anywho... <laughs> The more slightly we can make unsightly things, the better. Now, let's get going. Kodak, all right, might as well. Holmes, indeed. By the way, Kodak, if I might say something about Astolfo. Kodak, yeah. I didn't expect any of Charlemagne's 12 paladins to be so, uh, cheerful. Holmes, there are a number of wild legends pertaining to him, but one in particular seems especially relevant right now. Kodak, oh, what's that? 
poems. It's from the tale known as Orlando Furioso. It tells of Astolfo traveling to the moon in search of a cure for Roland's madness. In the process, he reacquires his own sanity only to lose it again upon his return from the moon. My point is, a hero, Astolfo is very closely associated with madness. Kodak. Yeah, I knew that, and I have a really bad feeling about where this is going, so go on. Holmes, of course. It would seem he's ridden off on his own horse and forgotten us entirely. Come, we must catch up. Kodak. This is my life now. Mash. Uh, Astolfo is leaving you behind at incredible speed. At least we can still tell which direction he's heading in. Please hurry. Uh, both of them. Rah! Gordoth. That's not the kind of thing I ever expected to hear out of either of them. Nemo Marine. This is too good to forget. I'm going to record this for posterity.